Paul and Jess, I'm actually going to go off script here and just say it was such an emotional night, and I'm honored to get to be a part of it. In my opinion, this is this is how local news can truly make a difference in people's lives. We had substance abuse and addiction treatment experts who work with the Department of Mental Health. We also had folks from local hospitals here to answer questions. I hope this was a life-saving and a life-changing event that we just had here. We heard from people wanting to get help, wanting to know how do I help a family member. We heard from those who have lost someone due to addiction. We also heard a lot of success stories. I don't think anybody ever used that substance the first time thinking I sure would like to become addicted and go through what I'm having to go through now. It's not the case. Uh, it is a disease. And again, it's a, a disease that we can identify and we can treat properly. We just have to get people linked to those services. We don't want the person sitting in a room all alone going, what do I do? We need them to know that there's help out there and that the Catalyst and many other providers in the state of Oklahoma are there to help them and that they're not alone. So the telethon ended at 10 o'clock, but the help did not end and the hope didn't end. If you missed it, you can still find many resources posted for you on the KOCO mobile app. We actually have an entire page dedicated to our state of addiction.